Good morning, everyone. How are you all? I'm just going to flick off my mic while I'm speaking to you here. Welcome to our... What day is it today? It's <laughs> Thursday. <laughs> I know. I Welcome to our Thursday morning 9.30 yoga flow class. So we're going to be doing um, a little bit of yoga with you all this morning. You will see that um, I will have blocks. You don't have to have blocks. If you do, um, a mat, some one or two blocks would be fantastic. Otherwise, just grab a couple of cans or a couple of books that is going to just help elevate the ground a little bit higher to the hands just to ensure that your alignment and your body feels um, nice and centered. Um, yeah, it doesn't have to be a block. So just kind of whatever you've got around the house that's going to be able to elevate you to the ground. We're going to start with a little bit of um, pranayama, so a little bit of breath to get us into our practice. We're then going to come into a beautiful flow, working on mobility, flexibility, and strength throughout the flow. And then we're also going to finish with our shavasana, so the very end of our practice, which is really probably the most important part of our practice, especially, uh, especially now. So making sure that you hang around for that end part all up, we're gonna be working for around 60 minutes with all of it um, combined. So take a spot on the floor on your mat and let's get started. Just bring yourself down onto the ground in a nice comfortable position. You don't have to be on your knees. If you do have a block, you might take it in underneath the hips, come into a seated position just to elevate the ground. Or if you've got a cushion or a pillow, we're just opening up into the hips here. Our hips are where we tend to hold a lot of our tension. So if we can let them open as much as we possibly can. If this doesn't feel comfortable, you might pop a couple of pillows in underneath the knees as well. Let the shoulders come back and down. So we're going to start with our pranayama. Pranayama means breath. So I want you to close down the eyes. And we're gonna start by coming into a nice natural in and out breath. Just relax the hands down onto the lap. Nice, easy in breath through the nose. And out through the nose. Just starting off nice and slow here, let the shoulders roll back and down. I want you to bring a little bit of focus into, into your body and into your posture. So from the seat, I want you to lengthen through the crown of the head. Find that height, sit nice and proud. Let those eyes just soften, release any tension you may be holding in the face and clench your jaw. Let the cheeks soften away from the cheekbones. Shoulders draw back and down, away from the ears. And I want you to create a little space through the heart. So let the collarbone just slide away from one another. Allow yourself to be open. And as you settle into your breath here, I want you to bring a little more length and a little more depth. So we start to add a little more expansion to your inhale and a little more release and softening, surrender to your exhale. We take these first few moments of our practice just to bring ourselves onto our mat. So whatever you have for the rest of the day, whether it's with the kids, whatever you're doing, I want you just to forget about it for the next 60 minutes. Bring focus inward into your body, into your mind, onto that mat. Start to bring a little awareness into the expansion and the movement that the breath creates in your body. So that opening of the inhale and that full release of the exhale. Slow yourself down.
Unfortunately, in this modern world, we've forgotten how to breathe and allowing ourselves to come onto the mat for just a few minutes a day and into our breath is going to help retrain the body. It's going to help release any anxiety, release any stress we may have. We tend to breathe into the top part of the chest. It's the muscles that weren't designed to breathe for us. And we've forgotten how to breathe properly. So bringing the breath deep into the belly, that gentle expansion of the diaphragm, the movement of the belly button away from the spine. And then on the exhale, the belly button draws back and we exhale the breath deeply through the nose. Our deep belly breath retrains the body, releases those stresses, releases those anxieties. So at any time throughout the day, if you start to feel yourself starting to bubble, it all started to get on top of you. I want you to slow yourself down. Bring yourself back into this deep belly breath and just take a few moments. take our time we slowly start to open through the front so from the pelvis we're going to roll back the rib cage starts to draw forward the chest opens we squeeze the shoulder blades together we take our eye gaze up and i want you to open right through the front of the body open that heart create space here one more time we're going to draw the belly in tuck from that pelvis let the chin start to draw in open right through the back of the body little release here last one the pelvis draws back we start to bring the body forward chest opens all the way up little squeeze of those shoulders realign the body sit nice and tall take a nice deep breath in we're going to start to add breath and move them together we exhale release and we come into our vinyasa so breath to movement inhale five high exhale release let the shoulders draw back and down one more time inhale and we're going to exhale rotate through to the right side the left hand comes to the outside of that right leg. And we're going to inhale, lift all the way up. And as we exhale, take your eye gaze back off that right shoulder. So I want you to try and keep alignment of your pelvis, of the hips. And we're just rotating through the waist. So that's the very base of the rib cage. And again, we're working with our breath. So inhale, lift up through the crown of the head. And then exhale, see if you can find a little more rotation a gentle ring and squeeze of the organs, just starting to release any toxins from the day before. Inhale, lift up. Exhale. A little deeper through that twist. So a little gentle massage. 
massage in and out. Two more. In and out. Last one. Now we're going to keep the rotation we found on that last twist. The left hand stays pressed against the outside of the leg. And we're going to take our right arm straight up. So find the height with that back arm. We're going to come into a little diagonal tilt. So your left shoulder is going to search for your left knee. And we're going to come into a side body, side body stretch here. So really reaching up and out through those fingertips. Take your eye gaze up towards the crease of the elbow here. Draw the hip and the knee down into the floor. And I want you to send your breath into this right rib cage. So really expand on those intercostal muscles that sit between the ribs. Really opening up the side of the body. One more full breath here in. And out. We're going to deepen our rotation. So inhale, lift up. We're going to wrap the right arm a little further around. So it might just sit in the back of the rib cage here. You might be able to search for the inner thigh of that left leg. And then you're going to inhale, lift. Exhale, look off the right shoulder. One more full breath. Right arm is going to come all the way around onto the left knee. So big wrap, right round. Walk the hands as far down as you possibly can here. We're going to round, tuck the chin into the chest. Don't suffocate yourself. So tuck your chin in, open through the upper, upper back, and then just soften the elbows, so a little bend in the elbows. And it's like you're trying to pull the arms past each other. So really opening into that upper back. So you're trying to pull without letting go of the knees. Tuck that chin right in. Pull the belly button up into the spine. You should feel that beautiful release into the upper back. Take your eye gaze forward. Flatten through the spine. Keep the arms wrapped here. We're going to come into our eagle set arms. So we're wrapping the arms as far around as we possibly can. We inhale, lift the fingertips up towards the ceiling, nice and high, and the thumbs are drawing back towards the crown of the head here. So elbows are pressing forward. Soften those shoulders down. So shoulder blades slide down the edges of the body. Lift right up. On your next exhale, we're gonna bring the elbows in towards the belly button and your fingertips come down towards the floor. We inhale, lift up, come up all the way, thumbs back towards the crown of the head, fingertips towards the ceiling, and then exhale, release. One more, inhale, all the way up. Exhale, unravel those arms. Reach the hands forward, just let the body hang here. And then slowly bring yourself up. Inhale, find that height. Exhale, just let the arms float. One more time. Inhale, find that height. We're going to exhale, let's rotate through to the left side. So take that right hand down. Remember, we want alignment of the sit bone, alignment of the pelvis. Lift up nice and tall through the crown of the head. And as you exhale, find that rotation. So really draw that left shoulder back and behind the body. And we always work with our breath. So inhale, height. Exhale, rotation. Inhale, height. Exhale, rotation. That gentle release, that twist. Nothing, nothing better than a spinal twist that's in the morning to get us mobile. Just two more full breaths in and out. Take that eye gaze back off your left shoulder. One more in and out. We're going to keep the twist that we found. That right hand stays pressed against the outside. Left hand comes all the way up. 
We're going to come across in the diagonal, so right shoulder to right knee. And you're going to take your eye gaze up to the crease of your elbow here. So extend right through that arm, draw the hip and the knee down into the floor. And again, we're breathing into the left side body. So really find that expansion through the ribs as we breathe. Couple more deep breaths, keep the rotation. So we're still searching back and around. Draw the hip and the knee down into you, into the block, into the floor, into the cushion, whatever you're sitting on. Inhale, lift nice and high. We're gonna exhale deep and wrap that left hand around. So you can either wrap it just into the small of the back here, opening into the shoulder a little more, or you can reach for the inner thigh of that right leg. And then we're searching for the back of the room, just creating a little vibe, a little shoulder opener. One more full breath in. As you exhale, release that left arm, come all the way over the top of the right leg. So reach down as far as you possibly can, open into the upper back, Tuck your chin into your chest and you want to soften the elbows and try and pull the arms past one another. So you feel that beautiful release into the back of the shoulders. Remember, don't tuck the chin too much that you stop yourself from breathing. We want to keep that deep breath in through the nose, out through the nose. Flatten through the spine, take your eye gaze forward. We're going to keep the arms crossed. So we're going to come into our eagle set arm. We inhale, find that height. Thumbs search back for the crown of the head. Elbows reach forward. Feel that release right in underneath. And then as we exhale, we're going to draw in. Release, inhale, find height. Exhale. One more time, in and out. Releasing the arms, reach the body forward. We're gonna remove, if you've got a block or anything underneath the sit bones, just remove it out from underneath the hips. Slowly bring yourself all the way up and we're gonna come over onto our hands and knees. So bring yourself forward. Knees are directly in underneath the hips. Hands are in underneath the shoulders. Now, one thing in yoga we want to try to maintain is alignment in the body. So when the body is aligned, the body is stacked. We're at our strongest. So we want to make sure wrists are under shoulders, knees are under hips. Turn the crease of the elbow towards the front of the room. Pull the belly button in. We're going to come into our beautiful cat pose. So we inhale round through that upper body. And then exhale, release. Let the rib cage draw down, chest, tailbone, eye gaze look up, but we don't release the belly, so we don't let the belly button drop. Inhale, roll. Exhale, release. One more time, inhale. And exhale. We're going to realign the spine, so let the body come in. What I don't want to see is that collapse in the chest, so this collapse here. We have what's called an active press, where we press up and out of the body, the shoulders draw back and down. Reach the hands forward, start to lift the sit bones up and drop the chest and the armpits down into the floor. So coming into our puppy dog pose, really opening through the back, the shoulders, the rib cage before we start that flow into our vinyasa. Press through the fingertips, round as we bring ourselves up, open into that upper back, and sit the hips back onto those heels. So it's gonna to start to come into our flow, really warming up the body. On your next in-breath, we're gonna inhale, bring the shoulders forward over the wrist, Give the tail a little tuck under. Turn the creases of the elbows forward 
And we're gonna lower down, tuck those rib cage, the elbows into the rib cage, and then we're gonna press back up. We come up and exhale back. Let's do that again. Inhale, float forward. Exhale, tuck the elbows in, lower the rib cage onto the thumbs. Inhale, come up and exhale back. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. We're going to bring ourselves all the way forward and down. So inhale forward. Exhale to the floor. Bring the thumbs back to the base of the ribs for me. Squeeze those elbows in. Pull the kneecaps up. We're going to inhale, squeeze into the back. So our hands aren't doing much here. Then we're going to take a little press up, baby cobra. Gently release. Let's do that again. Inhale, lift up. Then press into the hands. We might lift a little higher. And then exhale, release. Two more like that. Inhale, use the back first. Then press. You might lift a little higher again. Tuck those elbows in. Slowly release. One more. Inhale. Use the back, and then we might draw final stage knees and hips up off the floor, upward facing dog. Slowly release. Lift the hips up and back onto those heels. Round and come down. We're going to incorporate it all together. So inhale, float forward. Exhale, lower all the way down. Inhale, come into your cobra, your baby cobra, or your upward facing dog. Exhale, release. Inhale, shift up. Exhale, shift back. Beautiful. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Work with your level. Inhale, cobra, or up dog. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, back. Tuck your toes here. So tuck. We're going to start to lift the hips nice and high. Think about the chest, the armpits coming towards the thighs. But keep the knees bent. Bend those knees. Belly button connects to the upper thigh. Chest draws towards the shoulders. Press up. Chest draws towards the shoulders. <laughs> chest draws towards the knees. Press up through those arms, roll the shoulder blades to the outside edges of the body. And then we're just going to let the left heel sit heavy towards the floor, keep the right knee bent. A little swing of the hip side to side. So we're going to keep the left heel down and just swing those hips side to side. Bend the left knee, lengthen through the right leg. Heel becomes heavy and a little swing side to side. Breathe. Soften into the right knee, let both heels sit heavy. We're gonna come back into that flow. Inhale, float forward. Knees to the floor. Now a more advanced option is to keep knees elevated. We tuck the elbows in as we lower into our chaturanga. We take a hover. We then inhale to elevate. Either release back to the floor through child's pose or pull straight up and back into down dog. We're going to do two more. Inhale, float forward. Option knees up or down, we lower. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Either head straight back to down dog or release through the floor through child's pose and then down dog. We take one more. Inhale. So yoga isn't about the advancement straight away. I want you to feel strong and ready. Don't comp compromise your technique for advancement. There's nothing special about taking that next level until we're ready. We're going to soften into the knees here. Your right knee is going to come high into the chest, round the upper back. We step the right foot between the thumbs. Soften that back knee to the floor as far down the back of the mat as you can. Inhale, lift the hands up. Shoulders draw back and down. Now our hips 
move forward and down, our chest moves up and back. So we create space through the front of the body. Release the hands, your right, your left hand, sorry, connects to the floor. Right hand reaches to the ceiling. So find that height. Tuck the back toe under, pick up the back knee. Bring the right hand to the floor, look to the front of your mat and step the back foot to the front forward fold. Take a nice little fold over those legs. If you need to bend the knees, that's fine. Fingertips sit onto the shins and we inhale, lift halfway up. So beautiful flat back, like we're creating a capital L, an upside down L shape. Pull the belly in, lift a little higher, and then exhale, see if you can bring the belly button closer to the knees. And again, inhale, lift halfway. A little higher, belly button closer to the knees as we exhale, fold. One more time, inhale. And exhale, bend the knees for me, flatten the back, inhale to rise. Bring the toes and the heels together. We come into a chair pose, exhale, option, bring the hands to heart. Otherwise, roll the shoulders back. Inhale, find height. Exhale, hands to heart. We keep our flow moving, we inhale. Exhale, big forward fold, we lengthen. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, release. We're gonna step our right leg back. Big step back. Drop the back heel to the floor. Beautiful, inhale, we're gonna lift up warrior one. So find that height. Draw the shoulders back and down. Breathe, release the hands back to the floor, pick up the back heel, step back down when facing dog. Find that length, well done. Inhale, float forward, soften the knees or keep elevated, we come into our flow, we lower. Inhale to rise. We exhale, send ourselves back down when facing dog. Lengthen right through the back of those legs. Soften into the knees. Now this time the other leg's gonna come forward. So we draw that knee high into the chest. We pull up, step the foot between the thumbs. Take your time, soften the back knee down to the floor. Inhale, find your height. Hips move up and back. Release the shoulders, chest moves towards the ceiling, release the hands down. So opposite hand to foot is gonna connect and we're gonna take the hand to the ceiling. So find that height. Add rotation, tuck the back toe under, pick up the back knee. Beautiful, bring the hand to the floor, look to the front of your mat, step back foot to front, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold, bend the knees, flatten the spine, big toes and heels together, we inhale, find height. Sit the hips low, chair pose, we exhale. Inhale, lift all the way to ceiling. Hands to heart, we release. Find your height, inhale. Exhale, big forward fold, lengthen. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, release. Step the left foot back and place the heel on the floor, 45. Bend into that front leg and inhale, lift up, warrior one. Keep the hips square to the front of your mat. Draw the shoulders back. Release the hands, pick up the back heel, step back down when facing dog. The body is warm. We're finding length. We're working with breath. We take our flow, inhale. At any point, if you need a rest, bring yourself into child's pose. Knees up or down, we lower. Inhale, lift into that cobra or up dog. Either straight back to down dog or release. Send back onto the heels and find down dog. We're gonna start to add onto our flow. 
And we're going to take our left foot to the ceiling. Heel reaches. We keep the hips aligned. Our three-legged dog. Left foot comes up. And we're going to think about the left knee coming to the outside of the left elbow. So as you inhale, we come to the outside. And then exhale, press back. We inhale, come into the center of our chin. So we come into the center of our body. And then exhale, press back. We're then going to come across to the right elbow. So come across the body, look over the right shoulder. Then exhale back. We step the foot between the thumbs. Take your time. Take as many steps as you need here. Soften the back knee to the floor. Inhale, lift all the way up. As we release to the ground, the right hand stops the floor, left hand keeps going. Tuck the back toe under, pick up that back knee. Really reach up and out of the left fingertips. We're gonna wrap the left hand around. Try and open your body to the ceiling. Beautiful. Left hand reaches up, come back to the floor. Look to the front of your mat, step back foot to front forward fold. Let the body just hang here, toes and heels together. Inhale, lift halfway up. And then exhale, fold. Bend those knees, flatten the back, inhale to rise. We're going to exhale into chair pose, we take a little stop. So we come down. I want you to really think about squeezing those inner thighs together. So really squeeze here, sit a little lower. Beautiful. We're gonna come into a little balance. Your right heel is going to lift. Now you might stay here. You don't have to go any further. Otherwise, we're gonna draw the heel back to the bum. Now I want you to squeeze the knees together. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Take the arms out, flex the foot for me. Squeeze, remember you might just stay down here. That's fine. Breathe. We're gonna press the heel back. We're gonna tip the torso forward and we come into our warrior three. Breathing. Drop that right hip down to the floor. Lift up and out through the left bum cheek. Reach the arms out. Beautiful flat spine. Now I want you to take your time here. We're gonna soften the left leg. Your right foot is going to step back into a warrior stance. We inhale, lift up. How's that balance? <laughs> Keep the hips square. Turn the torso, the chest to the right and open the arms. Now watch your front heel, your left toe doesn't turn with you. It stays facing forward. Lengthen, sink a little lower into that front leg without the torso moving forward. So shift. Turn the left hand to ceiling. We're going to inhale. Left palm comes up. Right hand searches down that back leg. Breathe. Left forearm to left thigh. Right hand reaches straight up. Pull the thumb back and then reach the fingertips towards the front of your mat. Take your eye gaze in underneath that top arm. Try and turn your chest to the ceiling a little more. Inhale, left hand to ceiling. Straighten through your front leg. That's it. Reset the arms, warrior arms. Pop the hips to the back of your mat. Reach to the front of your mat. Reach, 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 reach. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Left hand comes either onto your shin, Inside and right hand comes straight up. Reach up and out of that top arm. Roll the top shoulder back. Your left hip is tucking under. Your right hip is rolling back. We find that height. Now if you've got your cushion, your block, something, your book, you might place your left hand on that just to add height. Bend into the left knee. Left hand reaches towards the ceiling. We're going to windmill the hands down to the floor, pick up the back heel. Step back, downward facing dog. Take your time. Lengthen through the back of the legs. 
If you need rest, come into child's pose. Otherwise, we take our flow. We inhale, float forward. Knees up or down. We lower, control. Inhale to rise. And as we exhale back, we're going to take our right foot to the ceiling. So take your time. Flex the foot. Keep the hips nice and square for me. Now you can stay here. You don't have to go any further. Otherwise, we're going to take the right knee to the outside of the right elbow. So we inhale, shift forward. And then exhale, press back. We come into the center of the body, so knee to chin. Inhale, really round, create cat pose. Exhale back. We come across to the left elbow. Inhale, look over the left shoulder. Exhale back. Take your time, step the foot between the thumbs. Inhale, draw up, step between the thumbs. Soften the back knee all the way down the back of your mat. Open into the hips. Inhale, chest moves up and back. Release the body. We're going to connect left hand to floor. Right hand, tuck the back toe under, pick up the back knee. So we're really reaching up and out through the right arm. Good, so left hand's on the ground, chest up the side. That's it. And we're going to wrap the right hand around the body. If you need to, bring your knee down, that's fine. Open the shoulder to the ceiling. So try and add a little rotation here. You're gonna feel the hip open, open through that spine. Reach up nice and tall. Reset the arm, look to the front of your mat. Set the back foot to the front. Come into that forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold, bend the knees. Flatten the back, inhale to rise, come to a full stand. We exhale into chair pose. Take a little seat, toes and heels are together. So you've got that squeeze here. Press the palms in, shoulders back and down. Now we're just gonna elevate the left heel. So the left heel is gonna come up. Good, now you can stay here, you don't have to go any further. Otherwise we're gonna draw the left heel up to the left bum cheek, but I want you to squeeze the inner thighs. Have a look down, your knees should still be in alignment. Breathe, tummy nice and tight, rib cage pulled in, sit low, flex the foot, take the arms out. Good, we're gonna send that left heel to the back of the mat. Chest and eye gaze, Woo. search for the front of the mat. Spread the toes on the right foot, Drop the left hip down. Crown of the head reaches forward. Really reach out through that back heel. Find balance, control, strength. And we're gonna take our time. Your right knee is gonna soften. We're gonna step our left foot back into a warrior stance. Inhale, lift up, warrior one. So the hips are facing the front of the mat. I'm going to turn around for you. As we exhale, exhale to the left. Beautiful. Make sure your right toe is still facing the front of your mat here. Your knee softens over your ankle, but we're not over the toe. So draw back, squeeze the inner thighs, pull up through the midsection, elongate those arms, turn the right palm to ceiling. Inhale, right fingertips all the way up. Left hand down the back leg. Find beautiful side body. From here, we take that right forearm to right thigh. Left fingertips reach straight up. Pull the thumb back and reach to the front of your mat. Take your eye gaze up underneath that top arm. Really roll the left rib cage to the ceiling. Inhale. Right hand all the way to the roof. So come all the way up, straighten through your front leg. Move the hips to the back of the room and reach the right hand forward. Reach, reach, keep going, keep reaching, keep reaching. Right hand comes down, left hand comes up. So you might use your block, you might use a cushion, something to rest your right hand on, just to add elevation. 
Otherwise, really draw back. Take your eye gaze up to that left hand. Feel the stretch running through the inner thigh of that front leg, through the back of the leg, the hips. Bend into your right knee. Inhale, right hand to ceiling. Come into that reverse warrior. Windmill the hands to the floor. Pick up your back heel. We're going to step back down with facing dog. Take your time. We take our flow, or if you need rest, come into rest. We inhale, come forward. Knees up or down, we lower. We inhale to rise. As we exhale back, let's take that left foot to the ceiling again. So the left foot comes up, but this time I want you to step the left foot to the outside of your left hand. So take your time. We take that heel onto the mat or right next to your left pinky and we turn the toe to a 45 degree angle away from the pinky here. Look forward, soften the hips down, lift through the chest and bring your back knee to the floor. Now if you've got cushions or anything, you might want to elevate because what we want to maintain is our shoulders higher than our hips. So if you find yourself in this position, I want you just to elevate yourself, soften into the hips as much as you possibly can. Take the right hand under the right shoulder. The left hand is gonna press gently on the knee and we're gonna roll the foot so you can see the sole of your foot here. Have a look, you should be able to see. Press the knee away and then look over your left shoulder. Should be able to feel that, feel all, all things in the hips happening here, all things. So I'm gonna work through the different levels. You can stay here, you don't have to go any further. You might like to come down onto your right elbow, you might use a cushion, bring the right elbow down, add that rotation. You might come onto a block if you've got a block. And then there's one more level. There's a third level, which if you're feeling ready for it, you're more than welcome to, and that's bending the back knee. Taking the left hand and grabbing the foot. Turn that chest to the ceiling, lift right up. So there are three different levels. I want you just to stay with the level that feels good for your body, listen to your body. Remember to breathe in through the nose, out through the nose. Really think about that left knee drawing to the floor. Release the back foot. Take the left hand to the ceiling. Bring it down in underneath the left shoulder. Bring yourself up. Turn back to the front of your mat. Open right up through those hips. And then come back onto the sole of that foot. Tuck the knee. Tuck the back toe under. Pick up that back leg. I'm going to step back into downward facing dog the best way you can. Take your flow, whether it's half or full, inhale, float forward, knees up or down, inhale, enjoy that cobra or that up dog. Move back into your downward facing dog. Take your time getting there, and let's take the right foot to the ceiling. So we come up, and we step the foot to the outside of the right hand. So take your time, Get the foot as high up the mat as you can. Heel is right next to the right pinky. Toe is 45 away from the hand. Beautiful. Drop the left knee down. Now remember, we want to stay elevated. So we lift through the body, really opening into the hip area. Shoulders are back and down. We're going to take our right hand onto the knee. We're going to roll so we can see the sole of the right foot and then look over the right shoulder. So this is level one of three. Remember, stop when your body's telling you to stop. Option, come down onto your left elbow. Press the knee away. And then level three is bending that left foot, reaching the right hand back. Grabbing the foot, 
open the chest to the ceiling and pull that heel in towards the bum, really opening into the quad, into the hip flexor here. Quite a deep, deep stretch. Release the back foot, take that right hand up. Now you're gonna bring it down in under the right shoulder. Take your time getting out. Press up, bring the left hand back, bring the knee in. Tuck the back toe under, step back down with facing dog. From here, we're gonna take our time. I want you to come into a high plank. So high plank position, take your feet a little wider. Beautiful, we're gonna let the hips come down to the floor. Little release here. Now release the legs. Look up. Try not to let the body eat the head. Lift up and out. Roll the shoulders back. Breathe. We're going to take our left leg. Then look over your left shoulder. And you're going to take the big toe of your left foot into the crease of your right knee. Left toe back to the ceiling. Release. We're going to bend the right leg. Look over the right shoulder. Big toe of the right into the crease of the left. Reset. Release the foot. Bend the elbow. Slowly roll down. Well done. Lift the hips up and back onto that chest. Hips back. I've said that before as well. Lift the hips back onto your chest. Lift the hips back onto your heels. Release. Let the arms just come down. Let the shoulders roll forward. And take your third eye just onto your mat or onto the floor. Take a little breath here. And then in your own time, we're going to bring ourselves over onto our back. So just nice and slowly bring yourself over. Can I get you to change it to number 11 for me? So coming over onto your back. Now if you have a cushion, um, a towel or something that you can roll up, just to add a little bit of height, I want you to come all the way down onto the back. Bring the heels in nice and close to your backside. And then obviously the higher the object you have, the more intense it's going to be into the hips, into the lower back. We have that beautiful sacrum or that nice supported part on the back of the hip here. So we're not in the arch of the back. We're not right on the bum cheeks. We're on that nice solid part of the hip. So as you lift the hips off the floor, you're gonna take your block and place it in underneath that part of the hip. You're then gonna let your body just relax over the block or over whatever you have. So you should feel quite supported here and we get this sense of release just running right through the lower back, right into the lower abdominal area and you can stay here with the arms out by your side, shoulders away from the ears. If you'd like a little bit more, we can lengthen one leg at a time so you might take the left leg out, keep the heel grounded. Stay for a couple of breaths, bring it back in and then take the right leg out. Or you can take both legs out at the same time. You can take the arms back in a cactus-like position, opening into the upper body if that feels good for you. And I'm going to ask you to close down those eyes again. We want to bring ourselves back into that deep breath or that pranayama. And if you would like to open into the hips even more, you can bring the feet in, soles of the feet together and let the knees fall out. So lots of different levels. You can do this grounded as well with the hips on the floor. You don't have to be elevated. Now you can stay here for as long as you like. 
if you have access to turning lights off, then maybe you turn the lights off just to give the eyes a little rest. Or maybe place a towel or a blanket over the eyes just to bring yourself into a little more darkness. This allows the mind just to shut down even more. And if you would like to move away from your back opener, we just bring the knees in, soles of the feet back to the floor. Slowly lifting the hips away from your block or your towel, your blanket. And we slowly, from the shoulders, tuck the hips and roll ourselves back down towards the earth. And we come into the final stages of our practice, our Shavasana. We lengthen the legs out. We let the toes roll away from the midline of the body. Our arms rest down by our sides, our palms facing up. And we bring ourselves back into that deep breath, that full expansion of the inhale through the nose, and that softening and release of the exhale. Taking just a few moments lying here, really focusing on that breath. And I want you to bring a little awareness into the movement that the breath creates in the body. Our Shavasana isn't asking you to completely completely shut off the mind. It's asking us to bring ourselves into a place of stillness, into a place of calm for just a few moments. It asks us to bring gratitude into our bodies, gratitude into the life that our breath gives us. So as we take this time to bring stillness, to find just a moments to bring ourselves back into our breath. I want you to think of five things that you're grateful for today. And as the breath starts to slow down, the heart rate starts to slow down also. We start to bring a sense of weightlessness to the body. The body starts to calm. And we bring ourselves into a place of relaxation. Allowing the body to connect deeply with the earth beneath you. mind quiet. Ayamas and Niyamas are our yoga's ethical practice. A paragraha translates into non possessiveness. Hanging in midair. Much like the moment when the breath is completely exhaled, the trapeze artist has a moment when they are sus suspended in midair. My understanding is that they have to let go of one bar and wait in midair for the next swinging bar to reach them. 
If they hold onto the current bar or reach for the next bar, their timing will be off and they will fall. Instead, they must let go fully to be ready for the bar swinging towards them, trusting the timing of the swing and not their own efforts to reach. Not all of us are trapeze artists, but our experiences of letting go may feel very much like being suspended in midair with nothing to hold on to. It is raw, naked, vulnerable, and uncomfortable. The practice of non-clinging is as free as swinging from bar to bar effortlessly in perfect trust and perfect timing. Any kind of holding too long or grasping too far forward in an effort to maintain a sense of security is deadly to our spiritual growth and the natural unfolding of our lives. A paragraha gives us the opportunity to let go and find something in the present moment. Reach and we may miss. Grip too tightly and we may find ourselves stuck in the past. Have the trust that the moment provides so much for our bodies and our minds. Soak up the joys of a healthy body and soak up the calm of a healthy mind. Fly with freedom, just like a trapeze artist, and live the life that you imagine. Starting to bring yourself back into the fullness of your breath. That full expansion of the inhale. That softening and release of the exhale. We take a gentle wriggle of toes and fingers. We start to reawaken the senses. And as you come into your next breath, take a really big reach overhead, finding the leg. Fingertips right through to toes. And then drawing the knees into the body, give yourself a well deserved hug here. A gentle squeeze, a little rock side to side, releasing the muscles along the spine. I'm going to ask you just to fall to one side and just lay here for just a moment. Stay connected with that breath. And then when you're ready, bringing yourself up into a seated position. And before you start back into the day, just give yourselves those last few breaths. We take a nice deep in breath as we inhale, we come up. We exhale, release down through to heart center. Taking one more full breath in. Exhale, release, so we bring a paragraha into our lives, allowing ourselves to let go, allowing ourselves to be present with each moment as it comes to us. We find our third eye. Namaste, everyone. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Please, if you have any questions, pop them in the comments below. So glad to have you all here and stay tuned for our upcoming classes next week. Thank you all so much. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.